Now, you know your boy was going to drop in today. We got some new stuff with Taylor on it. Oh, yes, I'm here for it. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I know, that this is Big Red Machine. The song is called Renegade featuring Taylor Swift. But, 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 I know this is an Aaron Desner thing, and I'm familiar with him from the Evermore Folklore stuff. I know he did some production, and then also on Coney Island. Is that right? I think it was Coney Island. All I knew is I remember the first time I heard it, I was thinking, like, what is that voice? So, in short, what I'm telling you is I know this is going to rule. I just know it. It's like like the recipe, you know? If you're making chocolate chip cookies and you got chocolate chips and you got sugar or whatever else goes in there, you know it's going to be awesome. So that's where I'm at with this today. Quick side note. If you're watching this episode and the video is not here, so let's say it doesn't appear when we start going, you know why. In the event of that tragedy, and if you're watching this and it's not on there, I would have already... It's like I'm talking to my former self. Self, this will already be over on Patreon fully uncut. And then a couple of people asked me, hey, when is Speak Now Part 3 coming? That's coming on Monday. That will drop right here on Monday. But like with all the other Taylor albums I did, the full album uncut stuff is over there on the big P. Search Tommy Mars if that is of interest to you. Let's jump right into this today. I am excited to hear this. I'm expecting great songwriting, great harmonies. (laughs) Just a cool vibe, man. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I really like these up closes of Taylor. There's that note. There's that note I love. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good line. Oh. Harmonize on that half step note. Nice. they did with this video you know it could have just been everything without the effect and everything on it and it would have been good but this is this is cool Harmony vocals.
one of the many talents that Taylor has that I feel like goes, it's not overlooked. I don't feel like it gets talked about enough. Now, if you're one that does talk about it, kudos to you, but she has so many great things. So it, I think it's easy for things to get lost with somebody like her because everything, the whole thing is just, it's great. It's greatness, but it's her, it's like her vocal melodies reading it. Okay. So getting like to read it and then seeing her place where she puts her words, it is a thing of beauty. And so I know people talk about like her vocal melodies and stuff, but what I mean is like reading the words. So you have these three lines and it's the way that she puts them in there. It's not even for like the sake of rhyming. It's just, it fits like a glove, but it's not like intuitive. It doesn't feel like something or, Oh yeah, that's just a natural. Here's a line. Here's a line. Here's a line. No, it's like da 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 Da, 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 da. It's almost like Morris Code. It's it's brill, man. I should, I've been said that she's already brilliant, but she is so brilliant. Like, seriously, the way these songs are crafted. And then her and Aaron, man, I just, I just, I guess I'm a fan. I'm such a fan of hearing them together. Like, whoa. So, the, and I'm, I'm going to make an assumption here. I don't know. If this says Big Red Machine featuring Taylor Swift, is this like a one off thing for them in a new record. I didn't really dig deep folks, to be honest with you. So is there more that they did together? And it's like, I guess I'm assuming that big reg machine is putting out a, an album or maybe there's an album out. I really didn't look, I guess what I'm getting at is it'd be so cool if they could just do like a whole record together themed, like a theme, like a concept record. There it is. Boom. If they could do a concept record and also she could drop like a rock alt rock record. Mm, that would be something too, because I'm jonesing for that. I think that would dominate everything too. And I know that she would do it very well. Hey, the other quick national story is I did an interview once with Tiffany DeBartolo and she is the owner of Bright Antenna Records. Super, super awesome. She's a great writer. She has novels and stuff out as well as the record label. And she wrote a whole book. It's out there. If you go search Tiffany DeBartolo, there's a whole book off of a national song from the national there's a there's a song and she wrote a whole book based off of that song it's that kind of mind and she has that kind of mind it's like taylor it's just a whole different like level of elite <laughs> wow hey man this was awesome and i knew it was gonna be but it did not disappoint at all good song man I, I need to pass through that a couple more times but cool video I, I i really dug the way they did that all right, guys, I will see you Monday. I'll see you right back here Monday for part three of Speak Now, or I'll see you over there on Patreon. I got so many things moving and shaking. I don't know if I'm coming or going, but it's your boy, Tommy Mars. I'll see you soon. Take care.